Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming, formerly Feral SC, and welcome back to our single player adventure series here on Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, it's time. We're here. We're here at the Blue Obelisk. It is time to take on the giant ape, or the Megapithecus boss. The last few episodes, we gotten ourselves the artifact of the Devour. We got ourselves the artifact of the Pack. We got ourselves the artifact of the Brute. And finally, it is time. We have the Mammoth Army here. We're ready to go. Before we jump into this, let me let you guys know, it is impossible getting these guys in here. Oh my gosh. I thought it was tough doing it at the Green Obelisk. Oh my god, the blue, even though they're the same size, it's just like, I don't know, it's like you, it's a jigsaw puzzle getting these guys in here, and it makes it a little bit tougher because of the snow, so I don't know if the line's here, if the line's here, if the line's there, if the line's there, I don't know, but anyways guys, um, yeah, this took a lot of work to get these guys in here, amazingly, um, it was kind of funny, um, I actually should have did like a little video of getting these guys in here, because it took like four times, and finally like 19 fit no problem. Like, well, sorry, 18 Mammoths and 1 Uteranus fit pretty easily. It's that 19th, that's that last one that's impossible. And what I had to do, he's right up there, he's looking awkward and everything. I'm going to be honest, I don't think he's making it into the fight. But what I had to do was, I literally had to have him run up this ramp and just like jump into the mosh pit to like maybe get this guy in. But he's sitting there nice and awkward. We'll see if he gets into the fight. I'm excited to get into this one. I hope you guys are too. Smash that like button if you guys are ready to go. Um, like I said, we got a few things set up here uh, behind us. So I got a bed just in case. We never know. I think we'll be okay, honestly. But again, like I said, you never know. Um, let me have a little bit of water because it looks like we're getting low on that. Like I said, we got ourselves the artifact of the Brute. I ended up getting a total of five. Like I always say, I get a total of five each artifact, just in case you never know if we run into a little bit of trouble. Plus, if we have any extras, I'm going to start. I, I haven't actually done it yet. I'm going to start taking the artifacts and setting them up all around base because they look really, really nice, honestly. Um, so we're going to do that with a couple of extras. But what do you need for the Megapithecus fight? Uh, artifact of the Brute. Artifact of the Devourer. Artifact of the Pack. Now, when you get into the Apex Drops, you need a total, if you want to run this through like I'm hopefully going to do today, 15 total Megalania Toxin, 15 total Megalodon Tooth, uh, Teeth? Tooth? Well, Megalodon Tooth, but 15 of them making teeth. Um, a Spino Sail, you need 15 of those. You need 15 Therizino Claws. And then finally, you need 15 Thylacolio Claws. Relatively easy to get, not too bad. Um, but guys, I'm really, really excited about this, especially doing this with the Mammoth Army. They crushed it the last time going up against the Broodmother. Let's see how they do with the Megapithecus. I have a little bit of work to do off camera. I gotta get all this stuff off of me because I don't wanna, God forbid we lose. I don't wanna lose all of this stuff in my hotbar. So give me a few minutes, guys. Let's dive into this episode. If you haven't already, smash that like button if you're excited for this one. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. It really, really helps me out, guys. Oh, other announcement, too. Um, guys, if you haven't seen the new episode for the brand new series, the Crystal Isle series, up in the right-hand corner right about now should be a link sending you on over there. Check it on out. Really, really fun to make. Really, really excited to see how that series goes for us. Hey, guys, so disregard the part where I just mentioned Crystal Isles because... Crystal Isles actually hasn't come out yet. Um, I've already pre-recorded this episode with the intention that this episode would come out on August 28th. That is this Friday. Um, after recording, after editing and everything, I realized that it would be a week in between episodes. And I felt like that was just a little bit too long between them. So I'm bumping this up, obviously, to today, Monday. Um, and Crystal Isles actually hasn't hit consoles yet. That's going to be this Wednesday. So disregard the part that I just mentioned about Crystal Isles. There is a part later in this episode where, again, I do mention, mention Crystal Isles disregard that too guys if you're excited for crystal isles like i am get ready there's going to be a ton of content coming out i'm going to be pumping out videos like crazy especially on wednesday um expect two or three videos on wednesday in regards to crystal isles because 
I am genuinely so excited for this. I hope you guys are too. If you are, smash that like button, not only on this episode, but all the episodes that I get to put out on uh, Wednesday for the new Crystal Isles series. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And guys, um, let's get back to this. I will see you guys on Wednesday, though, for Crystal Isles. Let's get back. Let's see how we do in the boss fight. But guys, like I said, give me a few minutes, let me get set up here, and let's get into this fight. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get ready to uh, fight the Megapithecus here. What do you need to actually spawn the Gamma in? Um, it's relatively easy. You just need the artifacts, um, just like the last one, and it'll be the same when we take on the Dragon. Just the artifacts to spawn in the Gamma. Um, I'm not going to turn on Gamma settings or anything. This... Uh, Unlike the Broodmother, this battle is all outside. It's relatively bright. I think it'll be okay. I'll let you guys know um, when we get to Beta and Alpha if I do put on Gamma settings to make it a little bit nicer for you guys. I'm not sure. Let's do this as a test run. Let's get going. I'm excited about this. A little nervous, but I think we'll do okay. So we got 30 seconds here. Let's get started. Like I said, we got all of them in here. The Mammoth's ready to go. I got the Uteranus in here. I did not bring the Otter, and here's why. I'm a little weary when it comes to the Otter. Um, I don't know if, like, once we spawn into the fight, the Otter's going to stay on my shoulders or not, or I'm going to have to look for him. And he could be anywhere in here, basically. So we're not going to do that. I think we're okay when it comes to the, um, when it comes to Hypo and Hyper, but we'll, we'll see in a second, honestly. Here we go, guys. All right, here we go. Where is the dra- Oh, God, we're cold. Oh, that's not good. Okay, all right, all right. Well, we got to take him down quickly. Uh, where's the Uteranus? That's the biggest thing. Where's the Udi? Udi, 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 Udi. There you are. I see the tail. Uh, all right, let's get on you. Okay, good. Let's get everyone over here. Biggest thing you're going to want to do is keep them away from that rock, basically. The, that rock, that cliff right there. Let's get them as far in the corner as I can. Alright, and let's kind of move ourselves. Let's get them over here. We're going to want to take the... F We're going to want to bring the Megapithecus over here. Now, how much damage am I actually taking? I'm taking only a little bit. We should be okay. Um, Gamma, he will not come to... Like, we have to basically run up there and get him. Um, Ada and Alpha is a little different. Uh, let's see here. Uh, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to our guys. Let's start uh, buffing them on up, and let's get started here. All right, how do you do the buff again? I think it's this. There we go. All right, he's working his way down. Not too bad. Let me kind of get in this corner here. I don't want him... I don't want them running to him. I need him to come all the way here. So, yeah, we're going to take a little damage right now. That's fine. Wait a second here. Okay, I guess we're good. Let's go. Take him. Get him. Get him. I'm a little worried. I don't want them. Come on. Here we go. All right. You don't want them falling off the cliff uh, behind him because they're dead. That's it. They're gone. So that's why you want to drag this guy on over here. It's relatively an easier boss to deal with. Um, it's the lightest out of the group, I would say. Um... It's just a matter of taking him out, because he does hit like a truck. That's the big, big thing. Luckily, when it comes to our mammoths, I do have some veggie cakes on them, so we should be pretty good. I'm not too worried about my health, per se, when it gets to these fights. When we get to... I mean, you can see already, we're more than halfway, and I haven't even been paying attention. I've been fear-roaring the... Not fear-roaring. Courage-roaring the entire time, and we're in good hands, honestly. Um, the downside with the mammoths is, as you can see, some of these guys back here are kind of just hanging out. They're not doing much. And that's okay. Um, I would rather more DPS with those guys getting involved. But if they get pushed off the cliff, they're dead. And that was real quick. That was real easy. Uh, that took, what, a minute? Not even. And let's see how much damage I've taken. So I'm not even... I'm 30 health down. So we should be good for all three fights, honestly. This was relatively easy. I thought it was going to go a little bit harder than this, honestly. Um, but we are all good. It doesn't really look like anyone took damage either. I think we're going to just, honestly, jump into the next fight and get ready to go. Because these guys... Yeah, I'm. Well, he's a little tough. Let's, let's kind of zoom in here. Come on. Let's check you. Because you would be the... Yeah. They've only taken about 3,000 damage. That is nothing. 
Um, the biggest worry right from the start is right when you get in here, you got to find your Uteranus fast, especially when it comes to this beta and alpha fight, because that thing, the Megapithecus will run down here. Like, it just comes straight for us. I don't have to go get it. It's going to come for us. So, yeah, that's the biggest issue. Um, all right, so I've taken about 40 damage when it comes to... Uh, okay. Um, all right, I think we'll be okay, honestly, for the fights. I'm going to obviously hang out here. I got to wait a minute or two. Let me get my health back up. Um, and then, guys, we'll jump into the beta fight, honestly. Uh, relatively smooth. Um, uh, okay. I think everyone I, I think everyone was in the fight, actually. And it looks like they're all actually kind of on top of each other, which works. Um, all right. I don't, I don't think I want to move anyone, honestly, because I'm a little worried that moving one's going to cause them to all kind of shift and everything as i'm saying that i'm moving one i i say i say um now we should be good it looks like all of them will, are actually gonna get into the fight no problem now uh this one might be an issue let's see if we can back you up a little bit we can't all right it is what it is um yeah let me do a little bit of tlc here let me run around let me just make sure these guys are good to go let me get my health back up and we'll jump into the next fight guys so uh like i said relatively easy these guys are just these guys are beasts Let's be honest. Um, yeah, like I said, let me do a little TLC. Let's get ready for beta. All right, guys, round two. Uh, what do you need for the beta fight? Uh, the beta fight, real easy. You need the three artifacts, five Megalania Toxin, uh, four or five claws. I gotta grab one more. Uh, five Therizino, uh claws and five of the Spino sails. I'm gonna take in the uh, Otter with me this time. Um, I've never actually done it, like done one of the bosses with an Otter. I wanna see what happens. I wanna see if it's gonna stay on my back or not. And it's beta, so we should be okay. Everyone's on passive anyways until I tell him to attack, so we should be good. It's just a matter of finding him if he's not on my back, which God hoping he is. Um, anyways, let's get started, guys. We have all the artifacts. We have everything we need. Uh, why can I not do this? Because I need the Megalodon Tooth, obviously. Let's go back and get that. All right. Uh, which way do I go? Where's my... There it is. Okay. Um, I was going to actually make a fur... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Um, I was going to make a fur hat or something, but then I realized you need metal. And I'm not going to go all the way back to base just to make a hat. That's why we're going to try out the otter. Let's see. Let's uh, for science this, uh, if you will. Anyways, uh, here we go. Let's see if this works. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really curious. So hopefully it stays on my uh, shoulders the entire time. That would be really, really helpful. If not, uh, then it's going to be a uh, bit of a shit show, <laughs> honestly. But we'll see what happens. We got ourselves uh, 15 seconds. We're looking good. Um, biggest thing is also finding the Uteranus because it's just, there's just so much going on. We got to look for the claws. Let's look for the feet. Let's look for the claws and let's see what happens. Here we go. Eight at a time. All right. On my shoulders. Check. Uh, claws, claws, claws. There's the claws. Claws. Good. Everyone, over there. Go, 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 go. Let me get around you guys, because I'm thinking he's going to work his way down. He usually does. I don't know. Maybe I do have to get him. Hey, that's fine. I'm not. There he is. He's... Nope. Up, wants to play a little hide-and-seek. Okay, let's go get him. Oh, no, he, no, he's coming. He's coming. Don't worry, you can't go off this side. This is the side you have to worry about. Um, we're good. We're fine. Let's uh, make sure everyone is passive. Let's start uh, Courage Roaring here, and that's fine if we get hit a little bit. We're going to wait a minute, and let's get started. Again, like I said, he hits like a truck, but we should be honestly pretty good. Let me kind of get out of the way here, because last thing I need is to get hit by this. See if we can... Okay, at least we can get everyone from here with a Courage Roar. There is a big knockback, and that's why you don't want to be near that uh, little hole, because <laughs> your dinos will just... And dead, so yeah. Look at this already. It's 25% down. Um, we're, we're doing work. We are doing work with this, guys. 
Um, I am very curious to see if these guys can hold up against the, um, possibly the dragon, because guys, you can see we're already halfway. It's been literally not even a minute. Like, it's just, this is awesome. These guys are incredible. <laughs> I'm really curious. I'm really hoping that these mammoths can hold up to the dragon, though, honestly. Maybe not the, uh, maybe not alpha. Pro well, you know what? I'm going to say probably not alpha. But if we can get through the gamma fight and stuff, if we can get through maybe beta with them, that would be pretty, that would be, you know, at that point, it's just icing on the cake. I assume that we would be able to get through uh, both the broodmother and the, uh, and the ape with this, the megapithecus. And here we go. Beta's done already. This has been, oh, my God. This is just, these guys are incredible. The biggest thing is getting them to fit, obviously, on the little portal. Um, that's the biggest issue with these guys right now. But again, let's let's kind of jump in the middle here. Let's see. Now, some of them might be a little bit damaged. Let's uh, let's check you. Yeah, like 4,000. Like, they're not getting hit that hard. I mean, granted, they have a really good saddle on them. But, like, these guys are doing work, guys. Let's have a little bit of food got 27 seconds um i don't know this is i think honestly alpha should be no problem at this point i don't know i'm at a loss of words i i'm very surprised that these guys are holding up as i knew they were gonna be good i'm freezing right now how am i freezing <laughs> i have the otter on me how am i okay there we go <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> this otter has like so much melee boosted there's no way i'm quote unquote freezing all okay. right um Okay. Um, I don't know why I paused there. That was kind of weird. I don't know. I thought, I guess, maybe because the screen was frozen that my voice would be frozen, too. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I got to do a little bit, little bit of maintenance here because he's not in here. He's... Ah, uh, man. All right, guys. Give me a few minutes. Let me get these guys kind of set up, ready to go again. And we're going to jump into Alpha. I think we're at this point. We are ready to go. This has been a breeze so far. Um, Dragon, here we come on us. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that too soon. Um, and he might be okay. Okay, let's see. I don't know. Let me do some maintenance. Let me do some TLC here, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So, see you in a bit. There's so much room back here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Moment of truth. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's been so easy so far that I feel like with Alpha, we might run into some issues. I don't know why. Hopefully not, but let's get ready for the Alpha fight. What do you need for this? So you need the artifacts again, 10 Megalania Toxin, 10 Thyla Hook Claws, 10 uh, Therizino uh, Claws, 10 uh, Spino Sails, and 10 Megalodon uh, Teeth. So uh, let's jump into this again. It's been kind of interesting getting these guys back into like position and stuff. Um, Uteranus is a little further out, which I'm a little nervous about. I think it'll be okay, but still, uh, if we don't have that Uteranus, it's tough. That's the biggest thing. But I think we're good. I think we're ready. Let's get started. Here we go. <sighs> The alpha fight. Okay. Again, I think we'll be okay. We might lose one. Oh, God. He's already... He's a little bloody. Ah, crap. I didn't actually really look at these guys too, too much. They have still some uh, some veggie cakes, so we're still good there. I think we'll be okay. The biggest thing is the... Uh, oh, God. Claws. There's the claws. Okay. Oh, he better get in. A little bit of the tail sticking out. Oh, boy. Uteranus, you better get in this fight. Here we go. Let's look for the claws. Let's look for the claws. Claws. Good. All right. We're all good. We're ready. He's going to be working his way down like he did for the beta fight a bit. Um, let's kind of do this. Let's do that. Get them as far in that corner as possible because they can fall off the cliff there, which is good. Um, all right. What's he doing? All right, let's go get him. Surprise this one. I actually have to, like, go retrieve him. Usually he's, like, running after us. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, God. He's moving fast. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, I hear him. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, can't. Nope, nope. Go. Oh, God. He's right there. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, we're going to get hit a little bit. That's okay. Attack it. 
at this. There we go. Alright, guys. Again, the only downside is you're not going to have all the mammoths fighting at once, which you are going to lose a little uh, damage per second DPS on that. Um, but they're doing work. Like you guys can say, 1,200 damage they're doing each one. These guys are doing work. And it really, really helps having a good saddle for these guys. Obviously, I think the saddle that we had is a little bit over 100, 110, somewhere around there. So a reasonable saddle. Um, but at the end of the day, these guys are doing work. Uh, How is he getting hit? Like, who, oh, am I getting hit? No. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> we're halfway, though, already. So we're looking pretty good, guys. Just keep the uh, Courage Wars up, and we should be good, honestly. I think we're okay. Can I not move right now? Oh, I can. Okay. I don't know. Just, okay. No, 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 no. Let's get out of the trees a bit. All right. You can tell that the Alpha is a lot harder. Like, at this point, we would already have it pretty much killed. Um, but again, it's reasonably easy. It doesn't really look like I'm seeing a lot of blood on these guys or anything. Um, I am thinking of... Um, possibly farming this guy in between this fight and the um and the uh oh god what is it called and the dragon fight um i don't know i'm thinking that might be the best because you get a lot of element from this battle and as you guys can see i mean we're not even close to dying we're about to kill it we're about to kill alpha it's a really really easy fight and there we go done <laughs> and we get the uh rex tech saddle which is awesome um, everything pretty much tech is not everything. I mean, we still have a lot of stuff that we need to get, and that's through the dragon fight. Um, but very, very easy fight overall, guys. And let's, uh, let's wait. I think you get, is it 120 element from the alpha fight? And I mean, guys, like, even let's look at the, like, let's look at the ones that were in here. These are the guys are taking the brunt of the damage. Nothing. Like, literally nothing. Yeah, they're eating a couple of veggie cakes, but 4,000, 5,000, maybe max. Uh, oh, yeah, let's see how much. 110 element you get from this fight alone, which... That's awesome. That is great. Like, I don't know. I think I'm going to be farming the heck out of this before we take on the uh, dragon, because as good as the mammoths are, I think we can get a Therizino army that could be a little bit better. Um, the biggest thing is going to come down to getting a really, really good Therry saddle. Honestly, um, I'm going to wait for this to get us back on here. Okay, we're good. We're kind of, uh, okay. We're <laughs> oh, God, it's just mammoths all over the place. This is just going to be a major, major mess. Let me jump on off here. Let me get in front of these guys. Um, let's kind of do this. Let's do this. But, God, oh, God. All right. No, no, no. It's a little dark, so a little tough to do this. Um, yeah, man. Maybe over here? Will we get a good shot over here? We get an okay shot here. Ah, we're going with this. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this episode. That's how you take down the uh, giant ape with a mammoth army. Again, very easy boss. Um, probably the easiest... Whoa, excuse me. Um, probably the ver probably the easiest on the island. Um, it's the easiest to take down. It does hit pretty hard, but at the same time, the health on it is the lowest. Um, but, guys, this mammoth army has taken down not only the Broodmother, but now it has taken down the giant ape. And now we get ready for the fight. <laughs> Let's be honest, the fight. Because... The dragon fight, I believe, is harder than the overseer fight. The overseer fight, we debunked at the last, uh, in the first series, that you can bring more than 20 dinos into that final fight, which Arizinos were a good way to go. We did a couple of Rexes, um, but overall, dragon fight's going to be tough. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm really hoping the Mammoth Army can withstand it. I don't know. I think we might be able to get through at least Gamma with them, but we're going to start slipping from there, I think. Uh, and that's where the Therizino army is really going to uh, take its shape, show you guys how good that army can potentially be. But um, I got to go hunting for a good Therizino saddle. We have a couple of artifacts that we need to grab too. Guys, let me know if you guys want to see three separate episodes on the artifacts. Um, we've done that 
already with the with the broodmother we've done it with the megapithecus or do you guys just want one big episode of all three um of all three uh artifacts let me know it is going to be a longer episode if I do that, because again, all three caves are very hard to do, especially the ice cave. But let me know, guys. Um, if Or if you guys prefer three separate episodes, that works too. I don't know if anyone watching this has ever done these um, boss fights, ever done these caves. So that's why I like to do a start to finish like, hey, like the name of the channel now, haha. <laughs> Anyways, um, like a beginning to end of each cave, just in case for those people that have never tackled that cave before. But guys, leave it in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave it in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And guys, like I said, check out the new Crystal Isle series. I am so stoked. I, I, am, I am just so excited for that series. Again, I'm recording this before it actually comes out, but I am just completely stoked for the crystal isle series it's gonna go well i'm excited i hope you guys are too i'll see you guys in the next one when we start uh getting the artifacts for the uh dragon fight have a good one everyone and of course the sun's coming out now all right well have a good one everyone and now we get some light